you, there are new questions tonight surrounding the investigation of an IPS guidance counselor accused of having sex with a student. Did the system delay reporting the allegations? Those questions as Shanna Taylor faces a judge. rtb 6s Mike Pelton was in court today. He joins us live outside the city county building. Mike. 37 year old Shayna Taylor is a guidance counselor at Longfellow Alternative School and is accused of having sex with two students. But tonight there are questions about how long the school knew about the allegations before they turned her in. During a walk to court on Wednesday, do you have any regrets? 37 year old Shayna Taylor had nothing to say, but prosecutors allege she had plenty to show to two 16 year old students. Taylor, a guidance counselor at Longfellow Alternative School, is accused of taking up a sexual relationship with a 16 year old student beginning in October of last year. And her appetite for sex was so strong she did so at her home, in her car, at school, and even while school was in session. She plans to take responsibility. It's just right now at this point in time, the level of responsibility, the amount of responsibility, until we find out what the evidence is, we don't know what to what degree um, her responsibility curtails. Taylor's defense attorney, Brian Newcomb, says Taylor takes responsibility but won't say specifically what for. Taylor is accused of having sex with one student more than 20 times and also having sex with another, in addition to sending explicit pictures through social media and text messages. She admits that she has done some wrongs, whether those are legal wrongs or moral or ethical wrongs. Um, either way, that remorse comes and flows from those wrongs. Court documents show the mother of one of the teenagers came to the school with the allegations February 17th. While it was passed along internally, no one contacted to DCS for six days. IPS is now recommending Taylor for termination as parents wonder how an educator could prey on a student. She's 37, so there is no excuse for that behavior. And the fact that several boy students knew that they could approach you in that way, that's not okay. And tonight, prosecutors won't say if they believe other students were possibly involved. They will only say if you have any additional information, you can contact IMPD and speak with a sex crimes detective. Meanwhile, today in court, a plea of not guilty was entered on Shayna Taylor's behalf. She is due back in court in early May. We're live downtown tonight. Mike Pelton, RTV6.